Hi, welcome to What's New in EDU, a hub where we give you all the new updates coming from Microsoft Education. I'm Frank Ciappone. Let's start with a recent event Microsoft held in New York focused on education. We made several exciting announcements there, all geared towards helping you, educators, administrators, and students. We talked a lot about an affordable and accessible learning platform, modern tools for a collaborative classroom, and experiences that spark creativity. Today's event is about education and technology. More specifically, it is about empowering the students of today to create the world of tomorrow. One of the bigger announcements in New York was education experiences coming for Microsoft Teams. Ari, are you ready to talk to us about Teams? Absolutely, Frank. More and more every day we work in teams across the world. Even this video couldn't happen without collaboration. And that's the spirit of Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is the hub for teachers, students, and staff in Office 365 for Education. Teachers can connect with their peers and continue their own development in professional learning communities, or PLCs. Here is a PLC team with conversations, including instant meetings and threaded conversations, PLC OneNote Notebook, and a Power BI app for analytics on our students. It also includes whatever you need to share content and conversations with this group, like adding video discussions with Flipgrid. At the start of the year, we might use Flipgrid to introduce ourselves across the district with video. Hello there, I'm Anthony Newball, principal at Bear Creek Middle School. And share what technology we've been using in our classrooms. Yeah, all that stuff sounds great in Teams, and we're also building in controls to help you monitor and manage conversations right within Teams. And all the conversations are discoverable from within the Discovery Center. Teams can be managed like any other user-based license in the Office 365 admin console, meaning you choose who can use it. And there's another big announcement. I'm proud today to introduce you to Windows 10 S. The S stands for Streamlined, Security, and Superior Performance. Windows 10 S is Windows 10. It delivers the modern PC experiences customers want, including inking, 3D, mixed reality, and more. Windows 10 S will be available on a range of devices from affordable to higher ed, including the cool new Surface laptop we just announced. Windows 10 S devices will run apps only from the Microsoft Store for Education. So as an admin, you know the apps are safe and secure and won't put a drag on performance ever. And there are some great new apps coming to Microsoft Store for Education on these devices, like Paint 3D and Minecraft Education Edition, now with Code Builder. So here, the agent's gone to work running code, digging down and identifying the resources that are underground. We know it's engaging, we know it's working, and we know it's reaching both boys and girls. Yeah, those are some great apps, Ari, but as IT, you want to be able to deploy and manage them all, and you can with Intune for Education, which we just announced is now generally available worldwide. In fact, with Intune for Education, you can set up a classroom full of devices in just about an hour. You can manage all your Windows 10 devices with Intune for Education, set up classes and groups pulled straight from your SIS with School Data Sync, curate apps from the Microsoft Store for Education, and then configure all those devices with just a USB stick using the Setup School PC app. And just like that, you're done. Finally, the next big event for us here at Microsoft Education is ISTE 2017 in San Antonio, Texas. We have a great opportunity this year to invite all the global educators to participate with our Hack the Classroom live event taking place on the evening of June 27th during ISTE. Also at ISTE, we'll have some great sessions to help IT and technology advocates get ready for their summer deployments. And even if you can't attend, don't worry, we'll have all the deployment resources available for you. So that's it for us this time. Thanks for joining us this month on What's New in EDU. Check out our blog for more details and links to everything you heard here today. And don't keep all this stuff to yourself. Share this episode with your fellow educators and administrators. We'll let students wrap it up for us. Tweet us if you want your students to help us with our next What's New in EDU.